You're listening to American Medicine Today, presented by the Bonatti Spine Institute, featuring internationally acclaimed inventor of the Bonatti Spine Procedures, Alfred Bonatti, MD. Once again, your host, Kimberly Bermel Bonatti, and co-host Ethan Euchre and Jeff Wagstaff. Thank you for continuing to listen and watch American Medicine Today. I am Kimberly Bonatti, alongside Ethan Euchre, Jeff Wagstaff, and world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Alfred Bonatti. Depression and PTSD and mental illness are all diseases that Americans live with and fight every day. And a drug previously used mostly in veterinary medicine is now showing promise as a breakthrough in treating these ailments. And joining us from Ketamine Clinics Los Angeles is Dr. Stephen Mandel, founder and president, and Sam Mandel, co-founder and COO. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you, Kimberly. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, guys. Now, when I first saw the press release about this, I thought ketamine to me, my wife used to be a vet tech, so I know that it was used in veterinary medicine, but I also know that it was sort of a, a street drug that they called Special K. So I, at first I thought, how are they possibly using this to, to treat mental illness? Can you, one of you explain? <laughs> yes, I will be happy to. I thought exactly what you thought. Uh, when I first saw this back in the zeros, uh, when the research first started being published, this medicine, which, is, as you correctly said, is a medicine that's used for veterinary anesthesia. It's also used for human anesthesia. In fact, it was originally approved for human anesthesia in 1970 by the FDA. And in, for many decades, it was the most widely used anesthetic in the world. Uh, fast forward, it was discovered among veterans returning from war to be just amazing at relieving depression, relieving the symptoms of PTSD, and relieving suicidal thinking. Just almost magical. It's hard to believe. It's quick. It's safe. It works more than 80% of the time in our clinic, and it just really reverses depression, suicidality, and PTSD. Dr. Mandel, how did they determine, how did they find that this drug worked for them? Was it, was it being abused and they found that it was helpful, or was it through clinical trials? Abusers had first talked about this, but nobody takes their word very much. When we had guys coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan in the 90s, and they were having ketamine for anesthesia for their procedures to address their war injuries, uh, some very smart guys noticed on rounds that not only were they okay from the anesthesia, but they seemed to have less startle. They were reporting fewer nightmares. They didn't have to sit with their back against the wall and their eyes on the door all the time. They even laughed, which was unusual. And somebody put it together. It took a long time because it's so counterintuitive. Oh, my, these guys are actually getting better moods. Then they started the, the trials, and they did do lots of double-blind, placebo-controlled studies. The first major one was by Zarati in 2006. It was at the National Institute of Mental Health. Demonstrated a 71% relief of depression in patients who had been unimproved by all known treatments other than this one. Here's what I want to know, and you can answer, Sam. How do, so how does it actually work, though? How is it administered? Is it, I'm assuming, very small doses? Uh, and how long do the effects seem to last? Sure, absolutely. Well, um, those are all great questions. I mean, we do intravenous infusions. All of the clinical research to date that's uh, showing the efficacy is IV infusion. And that's what we specialize in in our clinic. There are other routes of administration. None of them have been researched as thoroughly or are as effective. And the infusion in, in our clinic, and it does vary a little bit depending upon where you go, is uh, 50 to 55 minutes long. So it's not a shot or an injection. It's a slow, steady rate, and it can be titrated up or down to meet the needs of the patient. And that personalization and that slow, steady infusion, keeping that blood level at a specific rate, is what allows for a therapeutic benefit, or is one of the things that allows for it. Very, very different than what you would get a much higher dose for surgery, for sedation, and very different than uh, the street use population who's doing 20 times that amount all at once, as uh, the medical term would be, you know, a bolus, uh, generally snorting a, a large amount at once, as opposed to a gradual infusion. And is this something, it, it sounds this way, so forgive me if it sounds redundant, but they will continuously have to take this medicine. It's not something that will have a lasting effect where they can taper off at some point? Well, the there's... great question, Kimberly, actually, when it was first demonstrated by Zerati, people only got about a week's relief. Okay. And subsequently, it was discovered that if you gave a series of infusions, we give six over two or three weeks. 
people get typically about three months relief. Some get more, some get less. It is a treatment, you know, not a cure. And unfortunately, there is no cure today, but it's definitely, in our eyes, no long-term side effects and none of the short-term side effects of the conventional antidepressant medication. Not needing to take a pill every day and, you know, being able to come in and, and get three months, often six months or even longer of relief is, is substantial, and especially for people who have not even benefited from the conventional treatment. Do you have an idea how the thing works? Why works? Yes. A number of studies have shown that it, it works by the AMPA and the uh, glutamate pathways. And it increases glutamate, and it increases glutamate-sensitive receptors, and it increases dendrites, particularly in areas of the brain known to be associated with depression. And it actually causes the elaboration of something called BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor. And neurotropic factor levels, as they go up, they actually stimulate new growth in the brain. Wow. It, it seems like an incredible advancement for those that suffer so terribly from depression, PTSD, and mental illness. So any relief that can be uh, lasting for three months has got to be a blessing for those individuals. Thank you both so much for being on the program. Joining us again from the Ketamine Clinics Los Angeles is Dr. Stephen Mandel, founder and president, and Sam Mandel, co-founder and COO. Thank you for being on to discuss such an important breakthrough. Thank, Thank you, you for the opportunity. Take care. Unfortunately, we're out of time uh, this week. Make sure you check us out again next week. And you can check out our TV show. It's aired nationally on WGN America, Saturdays at 8.30 a.m.